love Andrew, I do. <laughs> yeah, he's my best friend. I don't even know, you know. Pigeon. Crushed a pigeon. to us from the different cultures 
or choices that led to make to, to bring us to many mistakes. You determine your own path. Once you determine your own path, then there is no catching up to do. That sky is the limit. And as far as fashion is concerned, if we African people all over the world do not understand that our image and how we perceive ourselves and how we present ourselves to the world is of great value, who are our Africans? We are really one family, and this is the mother Africa. I want to leave you with the last word, which is the foundation of African philosophy all across the continent is the concept of Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am because you are.
big event in Birmingham to launch Black History Activity Book, actually Queen DMV Black History Activity Book, October 5th. Already this time I'm very excited to be in England so we can reunite the African family globally and understanding the importance of uh, you know connecting with each other and our culture. So I will be in Birmingham on the 5th. It's going to be a massive event, massive festival with all kinds of very interesting speakers. I will be speaking myself, I will be presenting my book and talking a little bit about why we have to do this type of book for our children and why is it so important that we publicize it, we um, take you know matters in our own hands and support also the people who are behind the creative process of this material and other things that we also do to support each other in our business enterprises and why is it like it's, it's really regenerative to be together. <laughs> He's his name is Shango originally. Don't listen to him, he's not angry. I'd love Andrew I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's my best friend. He best attend Black History Activity Book on the 5th of October. If you miss it, that's your hard luck. The master plan. The Queen Bee Army supporter. What about you? I'm everywhere. He's everywhere. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Black activity history books. Black activity history books. Boy! Boy! <laughs> so today we're at uh, African Fashion Week. Today we're at African Fashion Week as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> what are we at? We're at African Fashion Week. It's a mad thing and it's love. So we're, today we're at today we are at African Fashion Week London. So we've just experienced an amazing fashion show with people from across the world, from Seychelles, from Congo. Queen Diambi just um, showcased their new fashion line. So we came to see that, catch up with the Queen, um, get some vlogs, catch up with some of our people in our team. Duke Macy, the legend Duke Macy, like Terry. Terry Riggs on Black Eyes TV 7 and Panika, that's her name, and then Antonika and um, who else? Alpha Guabo. Alpha Guabo. I definitely recommend people to come to events like this just to, to just um, support vendors. I think it's beautiful, everyone showed up. There's some amazing fashion, the way people are dressed. It's nice man, there's like a lot of smiling faces. Definitely recommend it 100%. You check out the vlog and like and subscribe. <laughs> Go on. African Fashion Week in London, in Holbrook, in Covent Garden. So we're just heading to Shepherd's Bush to get the car and then head home. It's got the ice is to be there. It's Shepherd's Bush. Look at the performers here. Performers in Shepherd's Bush. What was that? No? <laughs> so, this is where the world famous Westfield Shepherd Bush is. Come back to the place. Way better than most places in America. <laughs> Don't put that in. I'm going to put that in. Don't put that in. Oops, that we, yeah, put it in. Put it in. Um, 
So, fun fact of the day. The BBC, the new home of the BBC is literally down the road in White City, so it's walking distance. So if you ever come to Westfield you're in London, just know that BBC is down the road. Look how bu busy and beautiful the place is. I don't feel like I've got much good to say right now, so... How can you walk in like that? I know, it's like a Batman walk. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the bags are heavy. This is like when you got a heavy bag. Where you was walking then? Listen, these bags are heavy. Mm. What size bed are you getting? Uh, I just have a double bed. So you want a king? Yeah, I'm not a king. You get me a man, I'm just a man out here. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm just a man out here. That's blue. It's blue. <laughs> Will your bedroom look like a bowl tea? <laughs> I'm very tired because this week I've been working on the Mary C. Cole book, which is finally completed. It just needs to go through proofread and then we're good to go. And I had like a mad migraine for like a couple of days. So now that that's gone, shattered, 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 shattered. Got to drive back to Brom, try edit this article, write another article, get the questions ready for tomorrow. So we're back in London tomorrow to interview Charmaine Simpson from Black History Studies. That should be a good interview. And then we're going to go to the San Cosa event, which will be taking place in London at the Habisha Cat. Nakabal can do it. How can I? If you can do it. Nakabal. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> that's a mango though. So what do you Go on then. Nah, you killed it with a tissue. <laughs>